Hi, hello. I wanted to talk about a few spring things that happen around here. Also, by the way, I just wanted to do a fun little style. So this one's a bit different from my main style, if this is the first time you're seeing my content. I usually draw pretty anime-esque, but I've also been working on my style a lot. Um, so yeah, but we're going to talk about a few interesting things that happen around where I live when it's springtime. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live or the state I live in, but I'm just going to tell you that it's like 70 degrees, some of the trees are blooming, some of them have leaves, have like little baby stub leaves. Okay, let's talk about like what is blooming right now. If you guys don't know, this is kind of uh, what our yard looks like right now, and if you don't know what these little yellow flowers are, these are called dandelions. Um, if you live where I live, you know that these things are literally everywhere and that they are very big magnets for bees, which is not great for me because I get stung a lot and I don't like being stung. Well, I, I feel like that's most people, but they are literally everywhere. They are just everywhere. And well, there is one good thing about them is that every year me and my mom make this thing called dandelion honey if I got a picture, it should be on screen, like, right now. It's it's really good. Like, it's delicious. And it's actually pretty simple and easy to make and doesn't require a lot of ingredients. You do have to boil the dandelions in order to make an interesting, like, broth kind of thing. So it does, like, both, like, boil and then it simmers without the stove on for a long time. And then you turn it into honey. It's very delicious. Beside honey, what other interesting things you can eat right now aren't uh, much. Now, you see, because it's just like the beginning of spring, it, there isn't really much that you can eat right now unless you like eating dandelions, but those things taste so disgusting. Um, out of actual food you can buy, though, grapes, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries are very good. Like, literally any fruit is good. Watermelon isn't in season, but it still kind of screams like summer, spring to me. And then sandwiches and burgers have been working really well. I feel like it's been too hot for things like soup or like anything that's like super melty and you eat it with like, with like a lot of utensils or something. I don't know. It doesn't feel like no hot food, like literally cold food, like sandwiches or even like a warm burger, not like, you know, burning hot burger, but like a warm one. I don't eat actual burgers. I'm vegetarian. Beside that, what are other good plants that you could do right now are things like our cherry tree is blooming, our apple tree was blooming, it kind of is and isn't. The plum trees have already finished blooming, and most of the trees are beginning to get leaves. Things that you can plant are like tulips, uh, pansies, those kind of flowers, little, littler flowers. Okay, actually, you know what? Daffodils and um, tulips are not little flowers, but yet you still plant them at this time. I, we've been planting lots and lots of plants around where I live, and they're all kind of starting to come up. Not really, but at the same time, a lot. So, like, all the tulips are coming up, all the daffodils are coming up, we've also got all the pansies coming up. I'm basically just basing this off of, like, literally what is going on around here. Because of how hot it is, I went swimming today, and I regret it forever. I regretted it every minute that I was in that pool. We have one of those like big deep pools that isn't an in-ground pool, but is still like really deep. Um, it was freezing as heck and we keep it up. We keep it up during the winter and then just like cover it. And then during springtime, you just uncover it and boom, you have a pool. You just can't crack the ice while there's ice in it because it snows around where I live and uh, it gets really cold, so you can't crack the ice, or you might um, risk breaking it, although there already is a duct tape patch in it if that actually needs to be resealed because it's starting to come off, because there is a hole in the pool. At this point in time, tadpoles and frogs and things like that will also be very easily spottable. We did find a dead snake, and I've seen a few snakes, but they are pretty, like, tired and out of it right now because they just woke up from their hibernation 
But um, they are still fast as heck, and you cannot catch them unless you are trying very hard. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, ew, snakes. I don't like snakes. And the other half of you is going to be like, I love snakes. Snakes are cute. I would catch snakes if I could all day long. So uh, I would like no arguments or conflicts about this. But I like snakes. I do. They are interesting creatures. My brother doesn't like them. My brother's friend doesn't like them. I have plenty of friends who also don't really like them. Along with this, baby spiders are here. And I bet half of you are, like, just outraged because you're so sick and tired of the spiders. One thing I know all of you could probably agree on is the ant infestation that has begun in my room. I very much appreciate it in there. Thank you, ants, for coming and nesting in my freaking walls. We live in an old house, if you couldn't tell. The ants are also not my fault, if that is what you're worried about. They are literally attracted here because it's an old house. It's got nice rotting wood, and where they come up out of is the bathroom, and the bathroom is right next to my room. Well, it's a little bit down these interesting little steps. So it's not right next to, but the walls connect. And so the ants come out of the little cracks by the trim and are basically just living in the trim until they find anything, which they never do because they aren't very smart, apparently. They were last year, but they aren't this year. Okay, so I am pretty sure that we are out of baby bird season, but most of those baby birds are beginning to fly again. Um, but I think some of them are still laying eggs and making nests because I watched a few birds gather some fluff. But along with that, we're going to talk about baby animals because those are usually everywhere around this time, such as like baby cows, baby horses, baby chickens, baby everything. Um, along with that, there's also all the sea creatures that I'm not mentioning because I don't live anywhere near the sea. Okay, so you might know these creatures as pill bugs, or as we called them, click beetles, because they make a weird little clicking sound, but they look like this. And basically, it's mating season for them. If you don't know how a mating season looks, basically they fly near the grass until they all find a nice big patch to mate in, and it's very interesting. It's not creepy at all um, to watch them while they're uh, finding their partners, but it is, like, there are so many usually in, like, one patch of grass. Or they fly literally all over the yard, land everywhere. Land your hair, your pants, your everything. They just, they are a bit obnoxious, though, because if you're, like, running to go somewhere or, like, you're late and one just, like, smacks you in the face, it hurts. It hurts very badly because it's, like, a big flying object toward your face. They are quite small. Um... They'd be about like, let me think, like maybe half an inch, maybe, I'm, I don't know. I've never measured one, and for good reason. Actually, I think they'd be like a little bit smaller than half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. I don't know, they're very tiny. They are practically harmless. They do literally nothing, except for if you flip them over, they make a little click with their wings trying to prop themselves back up, which is kind of interesting if I'm going to be honest. Speaking of animals and babies and stuff, do you know what season it is? It's spring. Do you also know what comes in spring a lot? Weddings. I really am not a big fan of weddings, especially if they're right where I am. For instance, say you go to your favorite park just to enjoy yourself, and they're like, ha, 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 it's closed. There's a wedding. Recently in this season, there hasn't been much of this, except for in March, while there was a really nice day, and there were a lot of people taking pictures right where we were going to be. Last year, though, there seemed to be, like, a, like, kind of a lot of weddings, I guess, but not really at the same time. Like, they just seem so common in spring. Like, can someone just have, like, a winter wedding or a fall wedding? Actually, that's probably a thing already. I guess if you were, lived in somewhere like Florida or like somewhere hot like that, they'd probably want it in like autumn or like even winter. Oh, maybe Arizona, I guess. So I can't ignore it for any longer. I just have to talk about our insane freaking weather. 
so before April hit in March, well, and in the beginning of April, we had freaking snow, snow, hail, freezing rain, just like just cold. And then all of a sudden, it's 80 degree weather, sunshine, and melt your skin off sun. Very nice. Thank you where I live, which I'm not telling the world. Also, since it's spring, I'm going to give you a little list of fun things that you can do if you would like to and you're bored and it's just so sunny outside and you don't want to waste the day. Uh, go to the park, go on a walk, count how many sticks you see all over the ground or count how many mushrooms you see, go pick up some rocks at the beach, go swimming if it's that hot where you live, go go uh, enjoy some time to yourself, go catch some bugs if you enjoy that, go pick some flowers, go plant some plants. Just like, go get motivated. That's what the sunshine is for. Unless you have to work inside for your job, then like go find a nice sunny spot. Open your curtains. Don't be a vampire like me. Go outside and enjoy yourself. And don't be afraid of those spiders, if that is what you're scared of. Don't be afraid of them. Just be at peace with them. And if you're afraid of the yellow jackets, kill them all. Just kill them all. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Just kill them. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Anyway, it's time for if you've all watched my other videos, then you know exactly what this is. It is my shameful plugging. And, um... You can follow me on Pinterest if you'd like or support the channel by binging all my videos until the sun goes down and it's finally cool enough to go outside. And also, um, you can support me by looking at all of that and uh, there are some interesting things on there that I don't put on YouTube because I just don't feel like it or just don't feel like mentioning it in the middle of the video with an obnoxious little picture. Okay, uh, yeah, Nibs is sketching Pinterest, Nibs is sketching YouTube. And um, I'll see you later. I hope that you go drink some water, go do a hike, go eat some snacks, go plant some plants, go do something like that. And I will see you later. Bye.